Block and Son has a clear aesthetic influence. I'll never forgive this. That of Uncanny Valley puppets in shows like Mr. Meaty, Lazy Town, as well as other older series often aimed at children yet likely to terrify them. Thankfully, Block and Son, like Thunderbird's satire Team America, is aimed squarely at adults, and seems to revel in its ability to traverse the plains of the Uncanny Valley by leaning heavily into some strange and surreal moments. He's in the wall. He's in the goddamn wall! These storylines are what have led to several popular meme trends since its Comedy Central debut in 2018, including He's in the Goddamn Walls, I'll Never Forget This, and Block Flying. As you can see, there's just the right amount of bizarre nonsense going on in this show to appeal to modern audiences. However, it's worth noting that there's something special about this show. Creator Ben Bayuth actually started producing it in 2017 and ran it as an Instagram series initially, marketing it as a social media show. It's wonderful to see online projects being taken seriously and picked up by giants like Comedy Central. Recent years have seen pilots like Smiling Friends adapted by the television industry, despite their online roots, which previously would dissuade corporate types. That being said, Bayuth is a veteran in the film industry, working on the weird costume for Brigsby Bear amongst other projects. And the voice acting is, of course, top notch. Bayuth has teamed up with Christopher Mintz Plass as his son since the show's inception to act out some fantastic scenes. On a side note, it's really cool to see Mintz Plass in something new and popular. He plays Fogel, aka McLovin, in Superbad, an absolute classic teen comedy film from 2007 co-starring Michael Cera and Jonah. Hill. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Despite remaining strange and almost inhuman representations of real bodies, the expressive nature of these puppets leans so far into the weird aspect of their own existence that they become quite lifelike, shirking the uncertainty of whether they're human and breathing in life as if they're something else entirely. It could be argued puppet shows continue to make an impact on digital culture despite being something of a relic from the past, because they unlock core childhood memories of watching a film or a television show that is supposed to be child-friendly, but the design of characters from within that media are accidentally extremely terrifying. There's something to be said for re-experiencing that terrifying feeling in a safer environment as an adult, when one can enjoy media designed to be strange, fully self-aware of the bizarre, inhuman look of its main characters. In short, the Black and Sun memes clearly stem from a series designed with online placehood first and foremost, making the show perfect for the uncanny and chaotic humour dominating the internet in the early 20s. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>